guys what is up hello 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 so yes the title is true I met Len and the bunny and I actually made a video talking about my experience kind of like story time but then the video came out so fast and I was like oh instead I should totally do reaction to my video and if there's anything that coincides with what happened in the story time I can add that in but I'm just really excited because I've like never been in another youtubers video I've never like anything and she like followed me after the fact and she like commented on my thing and like liked my comment and stuff and so I'm just so excited so to the preface Originally, it all started as kind of like a joke where we were like, I was like, oh my gosh, she's having this meetup. We should totally just go to Vancouver and then just go or whatever. And then I was like, no, like it can't actually happen. And then I was like, I actually want to do this. So I scheduled a test yesterday and then I, and then this morning we got ready and we hopped across the border to go to Vancouver. So we literally got, we literally got COVID tested, got our passports together, all our documents, and we were like, we are going to go meet Lorelai. Okay, ready? Let's go. We are inside the Bunny Cafe in Vancouver. So yeah, before this, I had no idea that Bunny Cafes even existed. Um, at all, which I guess this is the only one in North America, so that's crazy that I live an hour away from it now. But when I saw she was meeting there, obviously I wanted to go because it's in Vancouver, but it was just kind of a dream for a bit. But then I was like, no, I can actually make this happen. But then I like looked at the actual address where the meetup was, and then I saw it was at a bunny cafe with actual bunnies. So it was, it's so cool. Another thing is they showed a lot of the cafe. I didn't actually get to experience any of the cafe because uh, the way the meet and greet was set up, there was so many people that like we couldn't be in there for too long. So we didn't actually get to sit in the cafe or order anything or like get like bunny merch yet. So a little unfortunate, but also understandable. June, 2021. And I found that the cat cafe was such a good model for helping get cats adopted. So I wanted to try to create the same thing for bunny. I always thought that. I always saw cat cafes and I was like, this would be great as a bunny cafe. That's like my dream job. And I didn't know one existed. Ooh, this is a meet and greet. Oh, <laughs> that's me and Gavin. I feel so bad that I'm on my phone and not like looking at the camera. This is the interview. They interviewed us before we uh, went in. And yeah, he asked me what I was the most excited about. I was just like, oh my God, I look so small. <laughs> most looking forward to today? Uh, I'm looking forward to meeting her, seeing some bunnies, having some fun. Yeah, same. I'm just excited to meet her and see what kind of different bunnies are inside. Yeah, we love like all the different kinds of breeds and like yeah. seeing them and petting them and how they all have their own personalities. Yeah, like breeds that I've never seen before. Yeah, yeah. I stand by what I said. I love all the different breeds and how they act and stuff. <laughs> Cool. I'm so excited to see Lorelai. Thank you for coming to Canada. What are you most looking forward to today? Oh, meeting Lorelai. I mean, it will be pretty cool to put like a, a face to like all the video content I've seen. I remember seeing her. She was like the first in line. Gavin and I got there an hour early. And so once it started lining up, we were like, okay, we should probably go. But yeah, she's really pretty. And she has really long hair. So was Lorelai though, oh my god, when she was just beautiful in person, very beautiful. Like she's beautiful in her videos, of course, but like she's one of those people that you see in person you're like, oh wow. Also, we're the same height. I wasn't expecting that either, but two bunny gals, same height, we're just meant to be best friends. Oh, thank you so much for being a good bunny dad. Oh, looks like you treat Diamond really well. Yeah, I'm actually, um... Oh! <laughs> this is me! I live in America, but I came across the border for this. What? <laughs> yeah. You crossed the border yeah, for me? Yeah, we did. Yes, we did, Lorelai. We had to. When I saw you were coming, I scheduled an 8 a.m. COVID test so that I would get tested in time. And then the next day, we woke up again at 8 a.m. to get all our documents in order so that we could come to this meet and greet. We got like a COVID test yesterday, and I was like, I have to meet her. Where? where? We're from uh, like Seattle area. 
Oh my god, I have people hopping the border. <laughs> that was just so cute that she put that in. But yeah, like I remember telling her then, and she's like, we have people hopping the border? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. I really appreciate it, honestly. Like I've lost I was next to this girl in line and she was so kind. She like complimented my like outfit and she was so sweet. And we talked about bunnies and what bunnies we had and like stuff and she was she was just a very nice person. What I needed to do. And so now my bunnies have like the happiest life and they're free roaming of course. One regret I have is not talking about my bunnies more to her, but I just I felt like she was meeting so many people that day that day that I didn't want to be like a nuisance. So I was like, okay, like don't talk to her for too long. Keep it short, keep it sweet. So like, I don't know. I always just don't want to be like an inconvenience to people. So I was just like, okay, I don't want to like talk to her too long and like show her all these photos, but I wish I did show her photos of my bunnies. She's watching this, maybe I'll just like put a couple up in the corner. I don't know that she would watch this video, but at the same time, you never know. So these are my buddies. It's our six and three, and somehow they have the most energy in the world. So every day we play, we do a lot of stuff together and they love it. And then just cuddling with them. They love cuddling. They love watching TV and being on the bed. I got them these stairs that they love. But yeah, um, having free ranch bunnies is pretty fun. And when you do it right, uh, not too hard but I love them and they're literally the highlight of my day, every day. And here's Oreo giving me kisses. Follow if you wanna see more of my bunnies. So obviously I wasn't like in it a lot, but it would be weird if I was, I feel like, because there was a lot of people there. Um, but I still think it's just like so, so cool. It was really awesome. It was just a crazy experience. I've never experienced anything like that. And obviously being surrounded by so many bunnies was amazing, getting to pet them and getting to know them. It was just a really unique experience. It was really awesome. Again, she was beautiful. She was amazing. I would love to meet Lennon someday. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was really cool. And if you have a bunny, check out Len and the Bunny because sometimes she made me realize I wasn't doing something completely right and I changed something. Um, but also if you have a bunny, just go to the vet. <laughs> Cause going to the vet teaches you a lot too and they kind of tell you like everything you need to know when they don't sugarcoat nothing. So yeah, thank you so much Lorelai for that experience. Thank you to everybody in the bunny cafe because they are doing some amazing things um guys rescue a bunny they're beautiful and they're lovely and they take a lot of work but they are worth it so thank you guys so much for watching i'm chicken queen this is light bulb and have a good breakfast goodbye mm -hmm.